Okay, so next up in the jQuery rehab series is handling CSS classes. So I have a, a very simple web page here, similar to what I've done in the previous videos, where I've got a main element, three paragraphs, each paragraph has a unique class. Up in my CSS here, very minimal. I've got uh, some default padding on all the paragraphs. I have some styling on the first element to give it a background color of purple and then uh, white text. And then I've got an active class that I'm going to be adding afterwards. So right now, what this looks like in the browser is this. First paragraph, purple with white, and then the others are regular and just same amount of padding around all three of them. Okay, so that's what we've got to start with. Now in jQuery, if you wanted to target something and remove a class, so let's say I wanted to remove the class first from this first paragraph. So here's all we have. Find, use the dollar sign selector, find the thing with the first class, and then call the method remove class. And this is the class that I want to remove. So I'll save that, run it. There we go, the purple and white, gone. If I want to add a class, now here I'm going to be adding this class active. That's the one with the gold background color up here. I'm going to be adding that to all the elements that match this. So that's all three paragraphs are now going to get a gold background. There we go, gold background, bold text. Okay, so that's the jQuery way of doing this. Now let's look at the vanilla JavaScript way of doing it without having to load that extra jQuery library. So the first one, find the element with the class first and remove that class. So document, query selector, simple enough, find the thing with the class first. So this, this, these are identical, doing the same thing. And then remove class simply becomes, there's a class list property that belongs to every HTML element. So every element has this property called class list. And it is just that. It is the list of class names assigned to this class property. So if there were multiple ones in here, you would get all the values. So find the thing, find the first element with this class, which is going to be this paragraph, get its class list, and then we call the method remove. And this is the class we want to remove. So there it is, the purple is gone. Comment that line out. There's the purple. Uncomment the line, purple's gone. So find one thing, remove that class. Now, the second line, adding the class active to all of them. Okay, if it was just one element that you wanted to add the class to, that's simple enough. So we can say document, uh, let's get the third one here. Query selector third, class list, add. And I want to add the class active onto the third one. Oh, sorry, need quotation marks around that. There we go. All right, so the third one has the class active added to it. So simple enough, that's with one. But what if we wanted to do the same thing here? We wanted to do it to all of them. Well, then instead of doing query selector, like this, we do query selector all because we want the whole node list. We want all of the elements matching that selector. So we've got all three paragraphs. Now, I can't just do this. I can't do class list dot add active. This is not going to work. This is actually going to give me a JavaScript error. If we look in the console, cannot read property add of undefined. Okay, well, it's not undefined. Class list does exist, but it exists on HTML elements. It doesn't exist on what's in front of it, which this is a node list. It's like an array. Arrays don't have properties called class list. Individual elements do. So we need to loop through all of these to be able to do this. Okay, so for each, like we did in the previous video, and then for each paragraph, we're going to do that for each paragraph inside this array, or this node list, we're going to say the paragraph that we're currently looking at, it has a class list property. We want to add active to it. So I save that and there we go. All three of them now. So there it is. When you want to do one thing, query selector will give you the one thing that you want to modify with a class to add or remove. If you want to do a whole bunch of them, we just have to add the for each and do the for each method. And then we loop through 
and we run the line of code to add the class. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave this page as a link as a code gist in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.